Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I go over my top 5 stock picks that could outperform the market next year. 2021 has been another crazy year, Covid is still not out of sight and inflation is running to all time highs. Since cash is fresh, you should not hold too many cash because it will get less and less worth over time. So what will be the best performing stocks in these environments? To make my list of top 5 stocks, I have looked at sectors that have performed the best in an inflationary environment in the past. Real estate investment trusts perform very well in these times. Consumer staples like Coca-Cola tend to do well. Healthcare and financials are also pretty stable during these times. So, if we can pick companies that have an edge in these sectors, we should be able to do pretty well in the following year. But this is not everything we should look at. There are some things we should avoid going forward. High inflation tends to hurt stocks with high PE multiples, which mostly means growth stocks with lower profitability could get hurt pretty badly and they might be falling down in the near future. If you are looking for growth stocks, try to find ones that are fairly too undervalued. For the overvalued stocks, we can find some more opportunities sooner or later. Okay, last thing I want to point out is valuations of large caps compared to small caps. Large caps currently have an average PE of 20.5, which is higher than last year's. Small caps only have an average PE of 14.4, which is lower than where they are normally traded at. Something very interesting to look at is that small caps trade at a higher PE ratio than large caps in the previous years. The only time that large caps trade with a higher PE was during the 2000 internet bubble. So there is a big possibility that more money will go into small caps soon. With this in mind I chose most of my stocks for 2022 in the small cap and mid cap range. I will now run down my top stocks for 2022. The last stock that I will discuss will be my highest conviction stock. So to start off, my number 5 stock is Viatris. Viatris is an American global healthcare company. The company produces and sells a variety of medicines. Pfizer did spin off the company and since then the stock has been falling. The stock has become pretty exciting at the current valuations. Keep in mind that spin-offs tend to outperform the market index. Viatris is one of the 54 top rated stocks on Seeking Alpha. I did not yet start a position in this company, but don't be surprised if you see it on my list one of these days. Next up on number 4 we have PayPal. This stock has been selling off for at least 38%. Nonetheless, PayPal is one of those companies that has a pretty high valuation. Growth justifies a part of the high valuation. In my opinion, fintech like PayPal can take in the longer run more and more market share from traditional banks. The high profitability of PayPal will keep them strong when inflation goes havoc. So I took the sell off as a buying opportunity. I think this stock might make a comeback in 2022. Number 3 on the list is Fidelity National Financial. This is an insurance company. The graph in the beginning showed that financial companies do pretty well in inflationary environments. Fidelity has a very good valuation and is still growing at a decent pace. Also not to forget is the dividend of 3.5% and the 10 year dividend increased track record. Fidelity is also a top rated stock on Seeking Alpha. Since real estate investment trusts outperform in times of inflation, I got Vici Properties as my number 2 on the list. Vici owns one of the largest portfolios of gaming and entertainment destinations. Real estate investment trusts are valued by their price to funds from operations. Compared to peers, they are valued lower. Fiji withstand COVID pretty well and is poised for growth by their latest acquisition. They pay out a whopping dividend of more than 5%, ready to fight off inflation. 
My highest conviction stock for 2022 is Kulike and Sofa Industries. The company makes semiconductor equipment. One of their customers is Tesla. The company is undervalued by a couple of metrics. 2022 should be another great year for the semiconductor industry. Click is one of the highest margin companies in the sector. Even under pressure of shortages, they can maintain their high margins. The low debt and high cash balance will allow the company to remain strong through inflationary times. High number of buybacks and dividend increases ahead ensure returns for investors. Kulike and Sofa is also a top rated stock on Seeking Alpha. This was everything for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section or send me an email. Below the video, you can find the link to Bux Zero and Bux Crypto, where you can get a free share when you top up your account. Take care and see you in the next video.